Thank you very much. Could I ask you to close your eyes for a moment, please? I want you to imagine that you're inside a giant feather duvet. All you can see is white. There's no definition, there's no features discernible, there's no landscape, there's no horizon, just white. Now I'd like you to imagine it's really cold. Now this morning, it wouldn't have been hard to imagine that because it was really cold in this room, but let's just uh, help with that process. And I'd like you to imagine that there's a gale force wind blowing, that it's blowing the feathers into your mouth, into your ears, into your nose. We were, in fact, on the summit of the Cairngorm at 1,245 metres. It's the highest, windiest, snowiest, coldest place in the United Kingdom. And this is the automated weather station on top of the Cairngorm mountain. And we were on our final assignment, an expedition to reach the summit and then make our way back down to Glenmore Lodge. It was cold. It was inhospitable. It was lonely. And so how are we going to get there? Well, the only navigational aid that we could use, we couldn't use a map because we couldn't, it was too windy to hold it and we couldn't see it because the snow was driving into our faces, was using this, a compass. Set your compass for the variation caused by the magnetic pull of the Earth's crust and also by any local interference. And if you don't, you risk the further you go veering further and further off course. And of course, in this case, falling into a white abyss and possibly ending up as frozen as those Mars bars. Have you ever sat in your business and asked yourself, why? Why am I doing this? Why are these things happening to me? Why are customers not satisfied? Why are partners complaining? Why, are our team, why is our team unhappy? Have you ever asked yourself those kind of questions and wondered where are the landmarks that I thought I would find on my journey? Well, this is the answer that I came up with when I was thinking about starting my business. I'm just going to read it out. The wave of enthusiasm from a team of people in love with what they do, who've created a sensational stage for their product and who can't wait to attend to every customer desire as they facilitate the ultimate buying experience. That was, ladies and gentlemen, the experience that I wanted my clients to deliver to their customers. I believe, and I've developed based on my experience working in many organizations, large and small, public sector, private sector, third sector, working with SMEs, working with um, communities of businesses, that what every leader needs is a personal guidance system, something to take them in the direction in which they're going, no matter what the interference or the deviation or, or the, the hazards along the way. This is the basis of a workshop or a one-to-one -one coaching program, but I just want to give you the headlines. I call this my positive compass, and what does positive stand for? Well, P is for purpose, and this echoes what Janice was talking about very neatly, and it also echoes what Barnaby was talking about this morning. Find your purpose, find your passion, and let it guide everything you do. Do not lose sight of it. S is for service. Turn your purpose into a service mission that will engage your team and that will engage your customers and that will excite and retain the loyalty of your, the, your customers and clients. Find your purpose. Refind your purpose. Very often businesses just lose sight of the purpose that was clear to begin with. And find your way to there. There for everyone looks different feels different, but you'll know it when you get there and you'll know you're on course when your positive compass is correctly calibrated and avoid falling into the white abyss of irrelevance. Thank you very much.